How's it going everyone and welcome back to next episode on how to create HTML and CSS. Now in this episode you're going to learn how to create a 404 page for a website and this is actually my second time trying to record this episode because in my last attempt my audio got distorted when I listened to it afterwards so I had to re-record everything so hopefully now everything should be fine. So a 404 page, in case you don't know, is a page that you're taking to inside a website if you try to access a page that does not exist inside the website. Now there's a couple of ways you can accidentally access these pages such as going to the uh, URL and write something like if it were to go to this website for example called Cry Outdoors, if it were to go to the URL and say forward slash blah blah blah, enter, then you can see we're taking to a 404 page not found and then you can then get some kind of message like continue shopping or something that you can give the user when they visit your website and access a page they're not supposed to find or that doesn't really exist inside the website. So another example, if I were to go to YouTube and go behind youtube.com forward slash blah, 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 is that we get this page. It doesn't really say 404, but it is still a 404 page that says, well, this page you're trying to access doesn't exist. Therefore, try doing this instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create this 404 page for our own website. And as you can see, this is the website that we've been creating in this course many episodes ago. And inside this website we created, we didn't create a 404 page. So if we were to go to the URL, mntouch.net forward slash blah, 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 you can see that we get this not found, really boring looking page inside the website. So if we do not have a 404 page inside our root folder and we haven't told the server that we have this page, then you're going to get this really boring screen that doesn't look like it's part of your website. Like Cry Outdoors, you can still see the menus, you can st still see all the different uh, links that we have inside the website. But inside my website, you can't see anything other than not found. So we want to create this special page that people land on if they try to access a page that does not exist. And I'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video at some point has hit a 404 page not found at some point when you visit the internet because it's a pretty normal thing to accidentally try to get to. So we need to make sure that when people visit your website, there is going to be a 404 page because there's probably going to be people. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like that sometimes when I speak too fast English because it's not my main language. So, uh, but you should have a 404 page for when people visit your website because people will hit it at some point. So now there's a couple of things that we need to create when creating this 404 page for the website that we have. Uh, the first thing is that you need to actually create a 404 page using HTML and CSS. Now in my last attempt to create this episode, I did actually create a 404 page. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it here. As you can see, I created a page that I called not-found-page.html. And again, you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be not-found-page.html. It could also be 404-page-not-found.html. It doesn't really matter. There isn't a specific name you need to give this page. You just need to give it a name that makes sense when it comes to a 404 page. So. Once you created this page, you of course need to style it and do all the things you need to do in order to create a basic page inside a website. Again, this is basic HTML and CSS, so we're not gonna do a huge tutorial on how to do this using HTML and CSS, because like I said, it's it's a pretty pretty easy thing and a pretty normal thing to do, you know, using what we learned so far in this course here. So as you can see, this is just a regular page. All I did was I included a 404 page title and a paragraph that says what you uh, what you were looking for does not exist. Uh, go back to the front page by clicking this specific link here. And I can actually do it like that. There you go. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to upload this website, or not this website, but this page to my online website. So I have FileZilla here. In, in case you use FileZilla, you can open that, open that up too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this page that I created and I'm going to upload it to uh, my server, which is online. Now, what is going to happen is if I were to go and try this out, so if I were to go here, forward slash, blah, 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 you can see it doesn't really access the page. And all I really did was I created a copy of another page in here, and I just simply said 404, page not found, blah, blah, blah. But we can't see it inside the website when we try to access it. So why is this? Well, right now, we need to tell the server, which our website is, is sitting on, that if we were to 
hit a page that we do not have access to inside the server, then it needs to redirect the user to a specific file inside our server. So what I need to do is I need to go inside my editor, my, my text editor, and create a new file. And I'm going to save it as punctuation, ht access. And it's very important we call it this specific name and not anything else. So it has to be dot ht access. And I know that usually when we have punctuation something, it's an extension when we create a file like index.html or style.css. But in this case, it's just going to be punctuation as the first thing and then ht access. Okay. Now, what an ht access file is, is a configuration file for your server. So as long as we have a Apache web server on the internet, then we can create an HT access file in order to make changes to the server as you try to load the website. So what we can do in here is we can tell the server that before you run the website, make sure you check for a not found page or a 404 page to make sure that if the user were trying to access any kind of page inside the website that does not exist, then they should have this page shown to them. So inside this .ht access file, we just need to create one line of code. So I'm going to say we have something called a error document with a big E and a big D in one word. And the error document that we have is going to be a 404 type. There we go. Then I need to tell uh, the document or the server where this document is uh, sitting at that we want to show the user as soon as they enter the website uh, in a wrong page. So what I can do is I can say forward slash not dash found dash page dot HTML and save it. And that's everything we need to include inside this specific document or inside this file here. So if I were to go back inside FileZilla and load up my HT access file that I just saved and insert it inside the main directory of my uh, website, which is the main, directo main directory of the server, then if I were to go back inside the browser where I have my website, go back, refresh, and then go into the URL, say mntoots.net, blah, blah, blah. Then you can see we get this 404 page not found inside my website. So this is how we can create a 404 page not found in a very easy way. And I know I talked about something called a configuration file in this episode, which is the HT access file we just created. Um, don't worry too much about specifically what we can do with the HT access file for now. Later on, I will have more tutorials on what exactly we can use this for inside a website. So for now, just know that for this specific function here of creating a 404 page, uh, you need to write write one line of code inside the HT access file and just upload it to your server. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.